Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. I'm not fishing today, I'm in my storage unit because it's stupid windy outside just about every day in Great Falls is super windy, so try not to ruin the audio here. Um, I know when I'm in here, the brightness whites out my face, but uh, hopefully it's not too bad. But anyway, today, uh, my plan, I guess I'm gonna walk outside anyway, because I gotta show you guys what I'm doing, is to mount, I'm trying to figure out a new way to mount my paddle. So, usually when I'm fishing, I have it like right next to me and I like to lay my rods there too. So it's in the way all the time. Or I'll keep it in half and I'll put it in like the paddle clips to come with the kayak. But uh, then when you actually have to use it, it's kind of inconvenient. So what I did is I bought this little Hobie A-Trail, um, I guess just like blank mounting plate you could call it plan sorry to do this and hold the camera at the same time but anyway my plan is to mount this right here and then I've bought this yak attack uh, paddle clip that well, I'm going to uh, mount it just like this so hopefully I can just carry my paddle on the side of the kayak and it's completely out of the way uh, kind of like how the Outback does it and also the Compass, which I used to use that back a lot. So I'm kind of used to having my paddle right there. I don't think this is going to be a very complex install. Uh, I'm just going to mark a couple holes with a Sharpie, drill them through, run the bolts through, and uh, hopefully keep some paddle out of the way. And uh, I know if you guys are struggling to store your paddle, not that you like paddling a pro angler because it's not really the most fun thing in the world to do. I uh, hope this helps you out. So I'm not sure if you guys can see this. But uh, one of the main mounting holes is right here, and then it kind of has like a longer track here to where you can mount it and uh, adjust like where you want it. But on this plate, I think I'm going to have to, it's going to be a little bit offset just so I can make it fit. And uh, I'm going to mount it pretty much right in the middle. Got the uh, got the holes drilled. So the Ectac paddle clip comes with its own little screws, but I'm not sure they'll be long enough. But I guess we're gonna find out. All right, guys. So after looking at this a little closer, these are more of a screw than a bolt. So none of the nuts that I have are actually gonna thread onto this thing. So I think what I'm gonna try to do. I know I already drilled holes, but I'm gonna drill two more holes that are just a little bit smaller in diameter. So maybe I can just screw these into the plate and uh, hopefully that'll hold it. Okay, well I seem to have misplaced all my uh, short <laughs> screwdriver heads for this thing. So this is the only one I can find, a little bit ridiculous. But let's see if we can uh, make this work here. one started get the other one started before I tighten it down all right it's looking good tighten it down all right well got them all screwed in don't know if you can see it too good but uh they've got some pretty good threads on these screws so I don't think it's going anywhere uh, let's go test fit on the kayak all right, I've actually got you guys on the chest mount now, so I can use both my hands. Um, I'm not exactly sure if this is where I'm gonna mount it, but that's the cool thing about the A-Trails, you can slide it, put it wherever you want, really. Um, yeah, so it just mounts on, just like that, until it's really sturdy. And then you just pop the paddle in. It's got a little bungee to uh, kind of hook there on the bottom. I probably should have mounted that on the top, but too late. <laughs> So yeah, I may have actually mounted it upside down, but you know, it still holds it on there. Um, you know, I mean, it wiggles around, but between the wind and like waves hitting it, I don't think I'm gonna have any problems. So whenever you need to just get your paddle out, just unclip that, pull it out, done using your paddle, put it back in, it's out of the way, it's not in your boat. It's just right there on the side, can I give you guys a view there? Yeah. 
I think it's going to work out pretty good, guys. I mean, I haven't went fishing with it yet, but uh, yeah, that's kind of just used to where I'm having my paddle. And that does it, guys, for uh, adding a paddle clip onto my Pro Angler 12. You can do that on any Pro Angler 14, 12, doesn't matter, or any other kayak with the H-Rail, really. I think I may have actually mounted it upside down, but if it gives me any problems in the future, I'll just unscrew it and flip it around, but I don't think it's going to be a problem. Anyway, if you guys have any questions about it, just leave them in the uh, comment section below, and I'll try to get back to you. If you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I've got a whole bunch more videos planned. Uh, I'm trying to upload a video every every other day. You know, kind of depends on if I can actually get out. Like today, super windy day. I didn't really get out fishing. Uh... But tomorrow, I am going to try to go fishing. And I've got a couple other videos planned for you guys. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.